new unified 154 pound world champion, Jermel Charlo. What's poppin'? Uh, give us some opening comments. How do you feel about your performance uh, tonight? Um, I did good. Like I said earlier, I, uh, I, I utilized my game plan. I listened to my coach. I did everything he told me to do. And, uh, you know, the sky was the limit for me. And, and uh, I'm excited uh, about what I've done. I know I got uh, more work to do and more learning to do. Rosario was a tough opponent for anybody. He'll get in there and dominate anybody. So, uh, you know, I'll figure out what, what we do next. But tonight was amazing. Did, did he uh... – Give you trouble with him, the amount of uh, come forward. He kept kept coming forward, kept coming forward, even after the knockdowns. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's no trouble because that's what boxing is. You just got to stay composed. I got in there and I stayed composed. I listened to my coach. Like I said, I didn't let each knockdown uh, dictate or make me get in there to make any mistakes. Uh, he was a live animal at any time. Very, very patient performance. I, would take Kelly, up, I heard you, baby. We take our first question from Lance Pugmire. Lance with The Athletic. Go ahead. Yes, Jamel, congratulations. And uh, great, great performance. Um, I wanted to ask you, do you think that this is, the, you just talked about a new era. Do you think that this is a way forward where both of you guys can just appear on these pay-per-views, you know, from now on uh, together? Man I, man, I hope, I hope, man. I hope that this is something new for the world of boxing. I pray that uh, everybody get a chance. To, to get in there and fight because the pandemic is crazy right now. It's stopping a lot of things. And for anybody that's working boxing or working a job, man, you know, well, it's just to you because, man, anything could change. And um, uh, if this is the new era of, of pay-per-view, let me be the man. I, I handle the job. <laughs> okay, we'll take our next question from Jeremy Herridges. Jeremy? Jermel, congratulations on a fantastic victory. Thank you. Ha have you ever seen an opponent go down like that from a body punch that you've ever fought? Nah, man. Uh, actually, I got low blow so many times. You know, I I was like, you know, let me just stick to what I was doing. Uh, uh, Steven Espinosa just walked up. He uh he he said he he thought me and my brother both was gonna lose. Uh, so I don't know what they would. You know, I can't wait till you come over here to congratulate me, but, you know, I didn't even get to hear your question. <laughs> uh, I was asking about the body punch and, and what you thought about the way he yeah, went man, down. That's a, i never seen it. Nobody in boxing have seen it. Something must have been seriously done to him prior to, to that in the earlier rounds. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. I don't know. I've never seen it. This fight could have on Lions Only and, and your promotional company. Does this help take it to the next level? Yeah, with the support behind us and, and all of the right people, Showtime and all the other networks that's rocking with Lions Only, I appreciate y'all and um, all of anybody, you know, that's really rocking. I hope we prove all of these haters wrong tonight because I've seen a whole lot of yak on that on that Instagram and on them Dude, Twitters unified. and all of them pages and all of that media. I heard our own boss, their own Showtime, like I said, he said... We, they, you know, know. don't be surprised it. if both we, of the shows lose. The same shit. They don't understand the skills and the levels of boxing. And that's why we, we present, and that's what we present. I got to calm down sometimes. And that's what I've been doing lately. So I've been, uh, you know, I'm appreciative of all of your questions. I, I can't wait to get to my phone because I'm talking to y'all before I talk to my family. But, uh, you know, this is amazing. Lines only promotion. We're going to go to the next level, signing fighters, putting on fights. Hopefully that these networks can give us a TV, some TV time and some anything that we'll be able to push the young guys in the you division. Unify. Right, the, young, the young guys coming up. Final question. Obviously, this was a huge night for you and your brother. Yeah. How, how, do, you, how do you top it? Man, this is a big one right here. Uh, spectacular. Um, the guy that they said was a beast, the guy that they said was strong, the guy that they said was this good, that good. I went in there and did what I had to do. Uh, I, I mean, have you ever seen somebody drop somebody with a jab, then the jab to the body, put them out? Man, that's different. I hit him right in the right spot, took the hair out of him. I don't know what happened, man. Like I said, I wish him well, and I pray for him in the ring. I pray for him, uh, you know, and, and I, hope he, I hope he's doing better. Jermel, congratulations, and enjoy your new belts. Thank you. Okay, Jamel, we'll let you get to that uh, phone and your family shortly. Just a couple questions here from Come on, Keith. I'm got it. I got it. Let's do it. Yeah. I, I, 
I was told to be here, so it's okay. You're I'm the enjoying man. the moment. We appreciate that time. Uh, Keith, go ahead. When you Keith, were throwing that punch, when you were setting it up, what, what was your intention there? You, that, you didn't think you were going to knock him out with that uh, punch. Obviously. I knew every punch that I threw was going to hurt. I knew I had good intention, good, you know, power behind all of them and bad intentions on everything. So uh, they, it just looked that smooth. It just looked that way. Um, I hope some of the greats in the, in, the, in, the, in the past boxing start rocking with me and my brother. Um, we, we feel like we're alone in this world, and that's why we're taking everybody out one by one. That that works for you guys, though, right? I mean, you that, that fuels you both of you, yeah. right? It's jet fuel. They messed up when they did this, you know, robbed me out that one fight. So, and, and because they don't rock with us and because they not, we're not the world's favorite or the greatest fighters to them, and we got so much to work on and everybody got criticism, you know, they, 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 uh, they, they, they have so much more that they, they deal into us and it's building up that fire and that ammo. So we, we here for it. We here to stay. Jamel, is, is it important to you to get that other, that fourth belt? Is that something that's important to you? Is De La Hoya guy got the other belt. If he want to put his, you know, with that, with victories like that and, and, and total domination, I don't think they, uh, you know, I got bad intentions, man. I come to ruin their health. Like Mike said, I want to ruin their health. Pound world champion. I don't care about no belts. I don't care about none of that. They don't want to fight me. I'm different. I, I, I punch for real. Stick to what I was I doing. I do this for my family. I sacrifice so much. And uh, and, and I change so much. And they lucky that I'm just this this, this normal individual. Because uh, boxing is what keeps me sane. So you feel that Teixeira, who's the WBO, after what he saw tonight, he won't want to fight you? I don't know about it. I don't know. I mean, I've never even seen him fight before, but I'm willing there to get in with him, his boss, or his boss people. So, hey, uh, Jamel, when what did you think of your your brother? Obviously, had a great performance tonight. Can you assess his performance? My brother, he, my brother was great. My brother did what he had to do. He got in there. I thought he was he basically dropped the guy so many times, but he didn't. He just stumbled him and wobbled him, and that was satisfying enough. My brother did an amazing job getting that victory. Okay, let's just take one more here from uh, Ellie Secback. Ellie, go ahead. Hey, first of all, champ, congratulations. Hope uh, uh, you're doing well. Uh -huh. How do you celebrate now? I just celebrate with my brother, you know what I'm saying? My brother holding all the bus. He's so happy, excited. That's my biggest fan. It's just me and my brother against the world, and we lines only, and we're going to carry this on our back forever. This is something that we can never change. You know, this is something that we wanted our whole life. And, and now we, we got a chance to take control. And I love him. He behind me right now holding all the belts. It look good, baby. Yes, indeed. Let's have him, let's have him bring those belts in. And, and hey, hey, Ma, bring them in. Come on. Bring them in. Keep what's popping, Ellie, over there in L.A. Tell yeah. everybody in L.A. what's up. I wish y'all could be here, all my fans. I, I wish all my, I wish all my supporters. Fight Hype is cool. I, I fuck with some Fight Hype. All y'all boxing medias. You know that, you know, BoxingScene.com. I see y'all been rocking with us. Kelly Swanson, what's up, baby? Okay. Everybody in boxing, the Charlotte Twins are taking the fuck over. It's and Ellie over. said that, you know what it is. It's no it's secret. Fine. You know we here for it. And, and, you know, me and my brother, we get into it, too. We get into it sometimes, but that don't matter. You know, we love each other. Then we love each other. So, because you know what? Tonight, we both got paid. <laughs> Jermel, Jermel, stand up. Take a pose with your brother. You guys are champs. Twin Charlos. Terrific night of boxing. Six fights. Hey, hey these trunks are called, hey, the chunky punches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me just hold the IBF. You already had that before. He had the IBF. I yeah. never had the IBF. <laughs> yeah, we're all both of these. You got two, I got two. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. So long, too. We back at it. You have it. All right, fellas, congratulations. Go enjoy. Safe travels home. Yeah.